Hi guys, welcome to my Amiga Corner and to this little video where I will demonstrate for you my latest invention, the Bifrost board. The Bifrost board is a keyboard LED replacement board for the Amiga 1200. It is fully customizable in a various set of colors and effects and brightness and whatnot. Um, without further ado, let's dig into it and check it out. Okay, so this is my Amiga 1200 computer. And of course I have already installed a Bifrost board into mine. And I have also configured it uh, to have different solid uh, colors on both the hard disk and the floppy disk LED. And the power LED, as you can see, has a rainbow cycling mode activated. Now, just to show to you that this is the real deal, uh, because the hard drive and the floppy disk drive is not currently running. Uh, I'm just idling in Workbench. Um, I'm going to demonstrate by just inserting a floppy disk. So the light comes on, as you can see there. And you can also hear the notoriously famed sound that the uh, Amiga has when it's reading a floppy. To configure the Bifrost board is very straightforward and simple and non-intrusive and all the icing on the cake. Um, the LEDs look like the normal LEDs, but they do contain a twist. The right side of each LED is also a button. And these three buttons help you to navigate and configure your Bifrost board anytime you want, without opening your computer. The only thing that the computer needs to be is on, uh, because obviously the Bifrost board needs power to do this and it gets the power from the Amiga. Now, this corner here, that is your brightness toggle or brightness cycling. This is the color cycling and this is the select button. Now we are in normal operating mode, which means that the Bifrost boards only light up as you have configured it and as the Amiga tells it to. For example, if we have hard drive activity, of course this will blink in your color and floppy, it will blink in, in that color. Now if we want to change this, uh, we only press select once and doing that takes us into edit mode. Uh, in edit mode, all the lights light up uh, so you can see them properly. Uh, this overrides whatever the Amiga is sending to these ones, so you don't get distracted. Uh, I prefer doing this, of course, when the Amiga is idling, but you can basically do it whenever you want. Now the selected LED is the one that's blinking. So if you would like to change the brightness of this now, you press this corner. If you would like to cycle the color or the color modes, you press this corner. If we want to adjust the next one, we press select again. And then the middle one starts to blink. Now, if you press again, of course, the power LED will start to blink. So we can configure that one. If I press it once more, I go back to normal operating mode, but without saving. So if I would recycle power now on this computer, any changes I have made here will be lost. However, I can save my settings, of course. It wouldn't be very much... Um, you know, useful otherwise. So let's say that I want to change this to some kind of blue color. Oh, that was the brightness, sorry. Yeah, let's put up a brightness. That's a pulsating light, for example. Um, and then I want to have it, I don't know, blue. Like so, that's a nice blue. And then I go to the next one, and that one I might only have to... I want to have it warm white, maybe. Just press the color here. So I cycle until I get that part. There. That is pretty good. Alright, so I'm pretty happy with that. And then I'm going to remove the cycle on this. So I press the color again, because that's a color mode. Yeah, red is good. Let's have it like that. Now if I want to save these settings, I only press and hold the select button. And there we go. Uh, four blinks means it's saving. It has saved everything that you wanted to save into memory. So now this is how it will be when it starts up next time. Um, 
Yeah, so I, I mean, if I put a floppy disk in now, it should be, uh, I think we put warm white, right? Yep, warm white. Um, let's say that I would like to make the power LED um, pulsating instead. Then I press the brightness until I come to the pulsating mode. There is one fast and one slow. This is the slow one. If I press again, it goes into a fast pulsating mode, and then I can save that by holding that. Now when you save, it also goes back automatically into operating mode. Okay, so that was my demonstration video of my Bifrost board. I do hope you liked this little video. If you did, press that like button to let me know. You can also head over to the official homepage of this little project. Uh, you can find it at a1200bifrost.com. You will find more information there regarding this, and I will also be posting updates there as I work with this project in the future. Until next time, guys, take care.